My, my recording when I did that <coughs> one, it was, a lot of it was improvised. You can hear the. I wrote different from the, what I did because I did much more on a free improvisation part of the piece, but the basic melody, it's. But it's a big hit in YouTube. I think it's so crazy. Many, I mean, many have you seen? It, from all, have you all done all a world. search on Habanera mm -hmm. Gris in YouTube? Yes. As, as a what? I mean, there's people yes, doing. Have they have done. Too, and then there is a, a people doing ballet with it. Wow. Uh, there is an ensemble from the from the uh, the uh, conservatory in in Bucharest with classical harps, pe pedal harps, and classical guitars doing it. There is a, a big ensemble harp doing open places. There is even somebody doing it with a string quartet with kids wow. playing. It's all kind of videos with that piece oh, and nice. it's such a simple melody. I literally hardly ever play it. I play with my daughters, but... But that's more like improvising around the melodies, not the way I wrote it. I wrote very, very simple basic melody, yeah. but when I was actually doing it, it was more improvised than anything else. Mm -hmm. I have heard it, ever play it. It's very it's interesting. It's the, probably the most recorded of my pieces, at least in YouTube. It's just everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to play one more. Mm -hmm. This is one of the pieces I dedicated to her, and uh, it's uh, since we were celebrating our 38th 
anniversary, even my birthday, so just... Uh, this is called Milonga para Mar, Milonga for Loving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>